and we will sing the B I B L E.
Oh, hi kids. How are you? Happy Sunday. And welcome to Bible Choo Choo. Remember I told you a few weeks ago how dirty my trains get and I've got to clean them often? Well, that's what I'm doing now. I have to take a Q-tip, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and some paper towels, and I've got to clean inside all the little wheels of my train. But when I do it, and then uh, I also clean the track, all the trains run much smoother and faster all around the train table. So, it's a lot of work to do, but it's something I've just got to do. <laughs> hey, Mr. Flanagan. Hey, Priscilla, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What are you doing? Well, I was just telling the kids at home that I have to clean my trains, and so I've got my Q-tips, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and some paper towels, and I just gotta get inside of these wheels with the, with the Q-tip and clean off all the dirt that's there. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Can I help you? Well, of course you can help me. In fact, I'm glad you asked because it's a lot of work to do. I'll tell you what, I gotta get some more supplies anyway because I'm running out of Q-tips. How about this? Here, here's, here's a little bit of the rubbing alcohol. Let me give you a couple of Q-tips and a paper towel. All you gotta do, Priscilla, is take a Q-tip, put it in the alcohol, and then just wipe it on the wheels. See these wheels down here? Yeah. Just wipe it on the wheels, and then later on, we'll dry it off, and that's about it. Okay. Sound easy enough? Yeah. Okay, so how about you do that? Let me go get some more supplies, and then I'll be back and work with you, okay? Okay. All right, be right back. Wait. Am I supposed to put alcohol in these trains? Hmm. Hey, Priscilla. Oh, hey, Ching Ching. What are you doing? I'm helping Mr. Flanagan clean these trains, but I'm having a problem. What's the problem? I don't know if I'm supposed to put alcohol on it. Well, what did he say? All right. Hey, Ching Ching. Hey. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, I got all the supplies. How are you doing? She's having trouble. Oh, having trouble? What's wrong? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put alcohol on these trains or not. Oh, not sure if you should put alcohol on the train? Yeah. Well, what did you say? Well, yeah, before I said it, it's okay. You, you just put the Q-tip in the alcohol and wipe down the wheels. It, it's okay. Oh, I knew you said that. It's just I had a hard time believing it. Oh, no, I, I did say that, but, but don't worry. Did you think the alcohol would hurt the train? Oh, I, I understand. Yeah, don't worry. It won't hurt the train. It, it's, it's okay. It takes off the dirt, and then we wipe it off later, and it's all as good as new, and it runs perfectly. So no problem. See? Chang Chang. It, it's okay. Really, it's okay. You know, a lot of times when someone tells us something or tells us to do something, if we don't understand why they're telling us to do it, yeah, I guess it, it can be difficult, especially if we're not sure about how things work. But, you know... We do that a lot, don't we? Yeah. In fact, we actually do that to God a lot of times. Yeah. Sometimes God says something in his word, but maybe we don't do it because we're not sure if it's the right thing or if we can believe it. Well, you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time we call the... Bible Choo Choo. Exactly. You guys want to do it with me? Yeah. Good. Let's all do it together. One, two, three. Bible choo-choo! All right, here it comes. Let's see what the Word of God has for us today. Come on, Bible choo-choo. Let's bring that verse over. And there it is. All right, let's see. Well, this comes from John chapter 2, verse 5. And this is actually something Mary, the mother of Jesus, said to the people. She said, whatever he says to you, do it. Wow. Whatever Jesus says to you, do it. What great advice. And I think probably Mary knew that better than anybody else. Do you know what was happening in John chapter 2? No. There was a wedding in Cana. And do you remember the problem in the wedding at Cana? They ran out of something. Do you know what it was? What? They ran out of wine. And so when all the people had no more wine to drink and it's a very upsetting thing to have happen and there's a master of the feast there and if he finds out that there's no more wine 
It's going to be a very embarrassing situation for the bride and the groom. So Jesus came along, and Mary said to the servants at the wedding, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And so Jesus said, fill up this big bucket of water. And so they, they took water, and they filled it into the bucket until it was all the way to the top. In fact, they filled up six big buckets of water. And then Jesus said to the servants, take some water out now and bring it to the master of the feast. Wow. Do you know, they had to have a lot of faith because they're about to take water and bring it to the man who knows the difference between wine and water. Yet Jesus said, take some of the water out now and bring it to the master of the feast. Do you know what the Bible says the servants did? exactly what Jesus said. They didn't question him. They weren't thinking, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. They just did what he said. They took the water out, brought it to the master of the feast, and when he drank it, he said, this is the best wine I've ever had in my life. Wow. And exactly, wow is right. All that water, ching ching, all that water they used. And I think that Jesus gave enough for wine for everyone at that feast. Wow, I'm getting really thirsty. Do you want to add some water? Yeah, I think I'm getting thirsty too. You want some water? Yeah. All right, Jing Jing, thank you. We'll, we'll both have some water. Okay. Thanks. Whoa, slow down. Hey, Jing Jing, slow down. She's going to hurt somebody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, you understand now? So in the Bible, Jesus sometimes told people to do things that maybe they didn't understand. Why do I do this? Why would he have me do this thing or... Can I trust Jesus? But as the Bible shows us, Jesus proves every single time we can trust every word he says, even when we don't believe or maybe we doubt or we don't understand why, it's okay. If Jesus says to do it, let's always be ready to listen to what Jesus says. How does that sound? Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, here comes, here comes Ching Ching. Ching Ching, slow down. Slow down, you're gonna run into the kitchen! What? 